In today's lesson, we're going to be talking about properties of matter. And when we talk about a property as it pertains to science and as it pertains to matter, we're simply talking about characteristics of objects or substances. So when we describe matter, we'll often describe its properties or we'll describe its characteristics. And all matter can be described based on both physical properties as well as chemical properties. And we'll talk about what these mean over the next couple minutes. Physical properties are basically any characteristics that we can observe without changing the identity or without changing, so to speak, the chemical composition of the material we're observing. For instance, if you look at the color of an object, you don't have to change the object to observe or measure its color. Texture, hardness, density, flexibility, any kind of property related to a change in state like freezing point, boiling point, these are examples of physical properties. We can test the freezing point of water by putting it in the freezer, but at the end, all we've done is change it from a solid to a liquid, or rather change it from a liquid to a solid. We haven't changed it chemically. If we take it out of the freezer, it melts back from solid to liquid and changes again. Chemical properties, on the other hand, are characteristics or properties that we can only observe either during the chemical reaction or as the result of a chemical reaction. For instance, the property of oxidation describes how a substance reacts with oxygen. For instance, if you take an iron nail, get it wet, leave it sitting on the counter, it might rust because basically what's happening, the iron is combining with oxygen in the air to make iron oxide or rust. That's that process of oxidation, but that process occurring will actually chemically change the iron into a new material iron oxide. Flammability. Determining whether something will burn can only be really truly determined by burning that substance and in the process it changes. It makes new substances and chemical reactions happen that can't be undone. So you actually change the subject or change the substance as you observe it. Things like heat of combustion, reactivity, uh, pH, toxicity, chemical stability, these are all other examples of chemical properties that substances can have. 